We are tracking the tropics as noon right now. Three disturbances marching across the Atlantic, and at least one of those will have an impact on our weather here in South Florida in the next few days. Let's get right to CBS 4's meteorologist, Lisette Gonzalez. And is anything we need to worry about this weekend, Lisette? At this point, we are concerned with the fact that this disturbance near the southeast Bahamas is going to bring plenty of moisture and an enhanced chance for more showers and thunderstorms. And we'll need to watch it closely because although this trough of low pressure and the showers and thunderstorms currently over the southeast Bahamas only has a low potential of development in the next 48 hours, a 20% chance as it moves west northwest across the Bahamas tomorrow, periods of heavy rain, gusty winds there, and then eventually Friday and through the weekend for us. And over the weekend, there's a 60% chance of medium potential, according to the Hurricane Center, that the environmental conditions could become a little bit more favorable for this to become a depression once it moves into the Florida Straits or South Florida or into the Gulf of Mexico. However, for now, we're also watching these other two waves, one that's 650 miles east of the Lesser Antilles that now has a lower chance, only a 10% chance of development as it's expected to move westward. And then we have another wave in the eastern Atlantic near the coast of Africa that has a 20% chance of developing over the next five days. Now, as we're looking at this disturbance that's near the southeast Bahamas, look at all the screen indicating that deep tropical moisture that is set to bring some wet and windy weather to the Bahamas tomorrow. And then eventually for us late tomorrow, Friday and the weekend, that moisture is not going anywhere. That means we're going to see the potential for gusty downpours. I'll have 